I, this was a post by a farmer pointing out that this has been a terrible harvest. I believe, according to the government, the worst harvest since 1984 due to all the rain this year, which is not surprising. And we have known for many, many years that climate change is a thing, that it leads to destabilisation of climate, that one of the big problems is going to be food because climate, uh, previously good agricultural districts will become too hot, too dry, too wet underwater. We know all of this. We know all of this. It is not a problem. The science is out there. You can go and have a look at it. As time has gone past, we've got better at it. Our predictions have got more accurate. And we know that, obviously, one of the problems as climate change advances will be mass immigration and mass migration, shall I say, and enormous problems with food. Now, I am assuming this is... I mean, the whole comment section is full of that absolutely brain-rotting nonsense. I do not believe that most of those are real people. I think it's bots or troll accounts or whatever, because I do not believe that enough people with these weird names are that ignorant. Because why would you think... that? It, anyway, ignoring that, anyone who's got half a functional brain cell, including quite a few ginger cats, knows that that is nonsense. So it's spread. Why? Why? This is something that I keep coming back to. Do the people, men, who are paying to have this rubbish spread, do they think that their money or their political ambitions are going to protect them from what's going to come if this nonsense is taken seriously by anybody? Because I heard a while back, and it's a very real thing, that some of the ultra-rich are buying hideout shelters in places like New Zealand. Number one, we know from the flooding in uh, North Carolina that places we thought were safe are not safe, but they've built these, you know, where they can go and they can hide out with their families and they're hiding, they're hiring security to make sure that their food stalls are protected. Do they think for 30 seconds that their security, when push comes to shove, aren't just going to turn on them? They're not going to survive. Their best chance, all of them, the chance that all of us have for survival, including the ultra-rich, the billionaires, is to cooperatively fix this. And we can do it if we all, especially the ultra-rich, push for it. In fact, two men could probably solve this within 10 years if they put their minds to it. But if they don't, they're going to go just as well as the rest of us.